my name is Carmen Boullosa. I am a writer. I have been a writer all my life. I was born in Mexico City, and not only born, I was shaped in Mexico City and extraordinary decades of Mexico City with an intense cultural and city life. In Judith Chicago's table, not in the whole piece, but in the table, none of the participants speak Spanish. And um, it, it was like, a, it's been like um, something that seems like her piece was done for me because it tickled my heart and my mind. And I said, well, who would be in a Spanish-speaking table? So what if we sit down, some of our major women writers, in a table where we share with them their ideas, we listen to their ideas, we listen to whom they are, and we also share a food. And we think what food is going to please them. It's going to be like a dialogue with them, but also a culinary homage to their uh, persons and their works. Because we speak with the mouth, how it expresses our feelings and our ideas, but also mouth is where you feel the food and where you kiss. So it will also give us the possibility of seeing how each of these women saw their uh, desire, how did they express their desire, if they had desire or not, what did they desire physically, and uh, their, all, all the appet appetite that comes with the food. Also, there's an extra that doesn't cross in translation. In Spanish, la boca is in feminine. The mouth is a feminine entity. So um, on one side, I want, that we, I want us to play this game. Let's sit with them. Let's listen to them. Let's cook for them. And on the other side, I'm thinking that um, when we study those authors, that I, I hope we'll study them in Macaulay, we read them, we analyze them, we compare them. When we do that, we are going to be able to rewrite the Latin American literary canon. Mm -hmm.